And that is how you hold the Wii Remote once again. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video. This time it's Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yeah, let's get a new game started. Oh, loading screen. <sighs> Always messing with my commentary flow. <laughs> Intro. Welcome to Dreamland. Thank you. A kingdom famous for peace and quiet. And it's Wispy Woods. little land. If you like that sort of thing. <laughs> Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. No poopers. Right. Yarn. One day. Paper Kirby. Favorite food, <laughs> a bright red tomato on top of a bush. Mmm. Down the hat. Maxim tomato. When Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. Oh. My name is. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop that! No, the greatest vacuum cleaner ever. Magic meta -mato. Oh, meta -mato? Kirby gulped the meta -mato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. I thought they were called Maxim tomatoes. Hmm. Maybe not in this game. <laughs> He's yarn, feels funny, but still he's cute. It feels like pants. <laughs> and to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Oh! Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. No, save him. Somebody help me. Kirby tried to swallow the monster up, but the air went right through his body. <laughs> Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Shape -shifting. Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Vroom, vroom. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. I guess we will find out. Duh! Duh! <laughs> You're welcome. And yeah, I guess I am. Why, thank you. Notice when they jump, their feet turn to springs. Nice little detail. Yeah, sure. What the heck? This is the first level of the game after all. So let's go inside. And watch another loading screen. <laughs> yes, I am. Let's get it started. You can double tap to run, which makes you turn into a Kari, or you can just walk normally if you would like to. Grab as many beads as you possibly can, because that's part of the 100%ing aspect of this game. Kirby cannot die whatsoever. As a matter of fact, he doesn't really even take damage, although... Um, you can lose your beads if you do take hits from certain enemies, and that's kind of the difficulty aspect of this game that uh, makes it harder to 100% this game, but it's extremely easy to just plain old beat the game because of the fact that, as I said, you can't die whatsoever. <laughs> so the challenge from this game comes from 100%ing it, and I will take a weapon along with me, just because I can. Uh, actually, I can't in the water, can I? Oh, I can! Oh, I'm so cute! I'm a little fishy submarine! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Kirby is ultra cute in this game. Oh, I can't climb ladders while I'm holding something. That is too bad. And you'll notice that there's little tutorial signboards, just like there were in Wario Land. Shake it. Very, very nice. It's a nice way to uh, show people how to play the game without actually going through and just watching the tutorials. It gives you like a hands-on approach and also collecting these treasures and treasure chests is also a factor in 100%ing the game as well as decorating a house. Go through doors like so and look at this neat effect. You can see yourself behind the fabric. That is so charming. <laughs> Speaking of, I don't know why people hate this game so much. So it seems like people hate it just because it's different for some reason. <laughs> I don't, I never really got that myself, and yeah, you, I mean, I, I tend to like oddball games 
myself, so that might be why, but people are like, no, something different, what's wrong with these designers? Well, I'm thinking, oh, this is pretty cool, innovative, and charming. I mean, just look at the graphical style of this, it's really nice. And ground pound by pressing down in midair like so. You can steal enemies' weapons if they're in front of them like so, and be able to throw it right back at them. And be sure to collect as many bees as you possibly can if you want to 100% things. And I got some music! Woohoo! Yeah, you have to collect all the music in the game as well. And those things that I was collecting uh, create better spaces on this uh, uh, winner's wheel here. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Just uh, go, 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 go. Ooh, yeah! I was aiming for that spot. To the Kirby! Yeah, to aim for a specific spot, you want it to be right under the arrow when you grab that bell. And it looks like I 100% the first level! I'm so proud! I'm gonna go over to the next level, that was way too short. <laughs> oh, what a cutscene! Thanks for your help. You're you welcome. Said, not that I needed it. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, he just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Oh! Ew! Gross! Stop it! I don't know how it's what gross, it's made out of fabric. Prince Fluff. <laughs> Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Woohoo! Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. What to be this? See, that's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Question mark? Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. Yes! We must sew the lands back together! <laughs> and that's what the, the magic yarn does. ...into the fabric of the kingdom and stitch two pieces of patch land together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces. And Sounds good to me! ...and their journey to stitch patch land back together. Woohoo! Yeah, this game is definitely not your traditional Kirby game, but it, it is still pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so now there's a bunch of other stuff that you could look at. But I think I'm just going to go over to the next level. Because I don't want to burn too much time, per se. I... oh, I didn't... oh, I, I guess this automatically happens. <laughs> Dumb wool. <laughs> Man, all these fabric jokes are going to leave people in stitches. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, jolly good, yes, yes. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> ah, loading. And this is what you use those treasures that you collect in the levels for. You can use it to decorate your house. You can also buy stuff for it as well. Boop. A housewarming gift. Oh! Always about the money. I love Kirby's like, oh yeah, and then he's like, oh. <laughs> So yeah, you can make your house however you please with whatever you've got. Just like so. Uh, well oh, there we go. <laughs> I will... Oh, and there's a nice little piece of yarn attached to it. That's another little, nice little detail. It stretches and moves with your pointer. So I'm going to plop that chair, well, one of the chairs I got right there, it's like, why not, you know, I'll, I'll put a chandelier up there, why not, and let's see what else we got here, probably not much of anything, 
where was that chair that I just got? I'll just make a nice furnishing setting here. And there we go. <laughs> I'm out of here. I just wanted to show you how that works. Now it's more adventuring. <sighs> Moving on to grassland. Woo! <laughs> First level of the game is Fountain Gardens. Well, it's technically the second level, but the first one was like an intro slash tutorial thingamabob. <sighs> Loading. Always has to load, doesn't it? Yes, I am ready. Let's collect some beads, treasures, roll up enemies in balls. It is going to be a grand time. Oh, and I also like when you attack enemies and the back, the background fabric shimmers from the wind, you know, from attacking the enemy. I always thought that's very nice. And you can also jump on things in the background like so. You can see the little stitching. It's a very nice little detail. Roll up <laughs> trees. <laughs> Such a charming game in every way imaginable. I was gonna say that Waddle Dee just does not wake up whatsoever. <laughs> you know what? I want that monkey. <laughs> whoop, whoop. I would like to get up there. No, actually, I was up there, wasn't I? <laughs> but those beads. I, I must 100% the stages, and I need the beads to do so. Well, at least you know 100% them as what much I'm going to do in this video of sorts. <laughs> this random gameplay. Oh no! I shouldn't have. Rolled up the fabric before I came in the water, and now I can't get the beads behind it. No, I wanted the fish shaped beads. Nah, there's plenty of beads in the level, I'm sure. And this will woo, push you up like so into the stratosphere. Such an awesome game, by the way. <laughs> oh, by the way, to break these blocks, you need to throw something at it. Like, that guy's spear, but I, I kind of missed his spear because it was on the other side. Are you going to respawn or something like that? I would really like if you were to respawn for me. Thank you. There we go. Now I'm going to show you the ropes of... Wait, I thought... Huh. How do you destroy the denim fabric then? I, f I completely forgot. Ah, whatever. Let's just move on. And pull down the castle, which I believe pops back up. Yep. <laughs> What's this? That's another thing to um, give you another spacing on that bonus wheel at the end of the stage to end it off. And woo, woo, you can shake beads off the tree, but by the time you get them down there, they'll disappear, and that kind of sucks. So what I tend to do is, yeah, just collect them as I fall. I mean, fall down and stuff like that. <laughs> and oh, I guess that's what happens if you knock all the beads down. You get a Delightful giant crystal bead. Crystal star bead. Those are the most valuable ones in the game, if I'm not mistaken. This is gonna going to go back up. I don't want to be stranded or something. <laughs> what I, well, I mean, I don't want to fall as I'm jumping out because I have to re restart the sequence. No, don't disappear, bead. I need you. And you'll notice that you, there's different ranks at the top of the screen. And that's how you manage to get 100% um, in the game. Like, you see, I've got... A silver... I wonder if I can point on the screen at the moment. Can I point on the screen? No, I can't. Well, it's that middle silver metal thingy there, and yeah. <laughs> and depending on how many beads you get, it changes depending on the stage. You get a different ranking, and that's the part of the game here. And a portal to another dimension, only it's just transporting you through the middle of the fabric. Throughout a mouth, which just might be unsanitary, but as I said, probably not because it's fabric. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what about these things? I, I, can, I totally forgot how to... Ah, whatever. Maybe you can't do anything about them, and I'm just thinking you can, you can destroy them, but you really can't. Or something like that. Woo! Secrets! And... Oopsie daisy! Whoa, 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 I want that! Yay! Oh, you can stand on the clouds. Why, did, why didn't I think that? Of course Kirby can stand on the clouds. I thought I was going to fall and miss those things, which is why which is why I panicked a little bit. Uh, do I want to move on? Yeah, I don't think I can jump over that. Yep. Boop. 
collect as many beads as possible. In fact, actually, I think I have enough. <laughs> so I could probably leave them as I, if I please. Although you do have to get a lot of beads to um, buy stuff as well. So yeah, oops, I'm gonna have to start for this from the beginning, aren't I? If I want to take the other path, that is fine. There we go. And boop. Give me more beads that I don't need at the moment. Although if I would get hurt by an enemy, I I might lose too many beads. Especially if they're be like below a bottomless pit or something like that. That's by far the worst place to take a hit from. <laughs> and uh oh, transformation! You can tilt to change the angle of your shot and press the one button to shoot. You can also do a like hover jump thingy by pressing the two button, which I rarely, if ever, use. I just like shooting stuff. <laughs> and shooting them is what I intend to do. Just keep shooting randomly and rapidly. You'll destroy everything in your path without even seeing them. <laughs> Basically, the missiles that you shoot are rather large, so yeah, the things just explode before they even get to you. <laughs> And even if you were to lose your beads, you're so huge, you'll probably just pick them right back up again. <laughs> of course, this is an early game level, so you're not going to have much trouble keeping your beads and stuff like that, so yeah. Shoot the landscape to bring it down! Down it goes! Terraforming the land! Wow, I lost a lot of beads there. <laughs> but see, it, it didn't really matter anyway, because I still have the higher, highest ranking stat on there. And what is this? Roll up. Oh no! I'm back to normal! And it also forms, well, it also works like a wall that you can't go back through. And there's the end of the stage. I'm going to aim for it again. Can I get the bonus? Go, 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 go! Yeah! Fireworks just like Mario at the end of a stage. Well, not quite. They're made out of beads and not fire. <laughs> How well did I do? I got the gold, I got a streak, and I got all the treasures. Another 100% run, and that's all I'm going to be doing in this video. <laughs> this is just, after all, a random gameplay video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Oh, actually, I should show you uh, this right here. When you get a patch for a level, another level will open up. Well when you can do so. Like, you gotta find where the butterfly patch goes. In this case, it is right here. And that will unlock a new stage. Woo! Which I'm not going to play right now. <laughs> As I said, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Relaxing music, by the way. Kirby is pro!